Assalamu alaikum my name is Damur Sekandar and welcome back to another part of the city guide application today we are going to store the data inside the firebase and before going for the demo I just want to tell that please watch the complete video as in some part videos are a bit long but there are a lot of knowledge inside the videos and few people who skip the videos will face some errors and then they are reaching me in comments in mails so please uh, watch the complete videos and also if the video is linked to previous videos I suggest you to watch previous videos as well so let's get started with the application let's run the application so if you want to download any of the design you can get the link in the description so open the sign up let's fill all the data And in here we need to define the phone number because in the previous activity we have created the phone authentication in Android so after the phone authentication we want to store the data inside Firebase so let's click on next make sure you have active internet connection so let's wait for the code to arrive open the browser so our code has arrived so let's wait for a few seconds and yes the data has been changed or updated you can see the whole data inside the unique ID which is the phone number this is what we are basically creating in this tutorial and we will also have a look on the demo how to create the database and how to store some dummy data as well so let's get started okay open Android studio and in the previous tutorial we did the firebase phone authentication and now in this tutorial when the phone number is authenticated then we are going to store the data inside the firebase so to store the data inside the firebase uh, go to the tools open the firebase and this assistant will appear and inside in previously we go for the authentication and we make sure that it is connected and dependencies added but this time we are going to use the real-time database so click on this link and make sure that your app is connected and all the dependencies set up correctly so before getting started open the browser and inside click on the project we are currently working on so let's go to the database in here firebase basically provides two types of database the one is at the top you can see is a cloud firestore and the second one is real-time database so for this project we are currently going to move on the real-time database uh, both have some specific advantages so for this project let's go for the real-time database and in here uh, I will create a complete video on rules how to set the rules and uh, basically what are the rules so you don't have to worry about this currently as we are in the development mode and uh, we need to set and get the data so for now let's uh, change it to the test mode and click enable okay so this is basically a database or firebase real-time database so you can see a warning which is saying your security rules are defined as public so anyone can steal modify or delete data in firebase so make sure that when you, your application is ready and you are going to publish the application on play store then uh, please go to here inside the rules and change the rules as per your own requirements for now let it be true go back to the data and in here you need to know basically two things the first thing is this is the root of the application uh, you can see the starting point where you can enter to your database and when I'm going to create another instance let's say users and click on plus add some value name is maybe okay we have added a reference here with some data so basically inside the firebase you can consider this thing where this is basically a reference uh, you can consider this as a table a table of the users which are going to contain IDs and that IDs will contain all the data of the specific user basically firebase is not structure oriented it is a tree structure basically and it is going to follow one root node and then sub nodes like this one and then let's create another one you can see we are creating basically tables tables of teacher table of user and then they are going to have the ID so let's create our own example so let's go back to android studio for now let's close it and go to java basically we are inside the otp screen uh, in the previous tutorial we performed the validation 
and in here uh, you can see we make a toast which is just saying that verification is completed that's it nothing else and we also pass the data using intent and receive only phone number here so let's receive the whole data we pass from here so we have six strings so press ctrl plus d to duplicate it and we just have to make sure that this name should be same and as we are going to use uh, all these fields in another function so let's declare them globally so in this create another string and inside underscore was for the local variables so now it is not underscore so I have created all the variables let's just change them over here and as we were passing underscore phone number so let's change it to the phone number so verification code is performing here and inside this area we are showing the successful message so let's uh, not just show the successful message here but let's just call a new function which is going to store the data inside the firebase store new users data that's it let's just click on this word bulb and create a new method in here now we have a new method which is going to store new users data right and we have the data inside the global variables over here so the first thing uh, inside the firebase as i told you that we need firebase database and let's name it the root node is equal to firebase database dot so what basically this root node is uh, this thing is going to start pointing to the firebase database in here to this thing by writing this line we are saying that okay compiler or whatever it is uh, please start pointing to the database so now our application is pointing to the database but in here you can see we have a two or many records or many other nodes or many sub nodes so basically this node is going to be called as reference and uh, not as a table so just change your mind from table to a reference so this is a reference this is a reference or a table so inside our database we we have some tables so we need to tell the application okay you are pointing to this database and now you have to point to this table or reference so for pointing to the table that means reference we need to create another variable database reference and let's name it let's change it to the reference so you guys can have this thing in your mind so it is going to to be written in a root node and uh, the where this table lies or where this reference is inside this database which is root node dot get reference so basically it is going to point the, all the reference or all the tables inside this database but we need to make it specific to make it specific we will simply pass users like we have users over here now it is pointing to this specific table and all the records inside this specific table alternate way or the quick way to write this is uh, you can just write database reference make it reference is equal to firebase database dot get instance dot get reference so by this way you can write a quick thing basically this is a reference and we are changing this root node with this thing so you can write it as per your own requirements so let's just change the data to this users we just need to go to the assistant and in here uh, inside this firebase real-time database you can see right to your database line is just created a database and then create a reference and then it is uh, using this reference it is going to set the value I show this to you because uh, you can get if you forget anything here you can get these lines from the assistance from the fire assistance so let's just close it and we need to write reference dot set value and in here we can set first record at a semicolon then so let's try to run the application 
Okay, so our application is running. Let's click on this plus icon to go for the sign up. Click on the sign up and in here we need to perform first validation. That our data should be valid and click next. Select the gender, select the year. Click next and we need to define phone number. Let's open the browser. And now in here the first thing our application will be validated and after that it should change from user's name only to a message. So let's wait for a few seconds. Our code has arrived and you can see our database or record has been changed from here as we have not redirected our user to some another screen. So it is still on the verification screen. To store a complete user, we need a new file, a new Java file. So let's go to app Java and inside the database let's create new java class let's name it user helper class and click ok and in here we need to define all the variables we need getter setters and constructors so let's just create the first thing is full name and we need all of them so So now create a constructor, empty constructor. So it will be just this thing, just an empty constructor. And in here we need a constructor with all these values. So right click, go to generate and click on the constructor, select all the values, click OK. And it is going to create a constructor here. And then we need getter setters. If you are going to use this constructor, you don't need setters, but in case if we need them in future so go to generate again and go to getter and setter again select all it will automatically generate all the getter setters for us so we have everything here we have constructors this empty constructor is just for the firebase so it cannot throw an error so close user helper class and we are back here the first thing we need to do is we need to create a variable user helper class let's name it add new user is equal to add a new here user help class uh, one more mistake here so inside make sure that this thing is public and now this error is gone in case if we are not passing anything but we need to pass everything in this behavior in this thing first full name username email and so on so we have uh, just added everything at the top so we need to pass it so we passed everything so this is going to call the second constructor with all the values so the query is going to be reference dot set value and if in this reference we are going to pass add new user then this is going to store all these values so let's just have a look okay so our application is running click on this plus sign up let me fill all these values again you can see we selected gender as male we have 1 june 2000 let's click on next add a phone number click next again wait for the code to arrive and our code is arrived and the data has been updated so uh, this is how you are going to get this data inside the firebase but you can see we don't have any user id so if another user is going to store the data is it is just going to override this so we don't want to do this uh, let's add another id head back to the android studio and here before going to set the value let's just call dot we need to add a child so this child is going to be the child of this user and inside this child all these values are going to be stored so you can set the child to username you can set the child to phone number and this is another mistake everyone is doing that they are storing the data by phone number and then they are getting or receiving the data from firebase using username their application is crashing they are using null pointer exception so this everything should happen if you do this so if i am going to store 
phone number as a root node of each user or the key node of each user then I have to get the data by using phone number so please do not do this mistake again you cannot store phone email as a key node of the user because it contains invalid characters like at the rate dot etc so you cannot store it so let's just run the application again okay so our application is running and let's again fill all the data and this time now again we have to wait for the code and again our code has arrived and you can see the data has been modified and this time the key node was the phone number so when I'm going to click on this you can see the whole data over here and its key node is this thing so by this way uh, we can add all the users so in the next video we are going to authenticate that if there is some user already in the database then we are not going to allow the same user to create another account this is how you are going to store the data that's it for this tutorial i hope you learn something new and if you learn something new please like the video and you are new to the channel please subscribe it thank you for watching take care allah office